Namam, Namaste, greetings YouTube. In this video I'll be talking to you about the Uranus gong, the planet gong, what it does, how to work with it, and what it brings us in the way of healing and transformation. This gong resonates to 207.36 Hz in the tone of G sharp. Energetically, it has a wavelength of 560 nanometers in the color orange. It's associated closely to the sign of Aquarius in our zodiac. Uranus is a very strange planet. It's bigger than Earth. It's an ice giant. It's comprised of methane, ammonia, ice and rock. It has a really strange uh, elliptical axis tilt of 97.7 degrees. What that means is while all the other planets in our solar system are, are circling the sun like spinning tops, Uranus is rolling over on itself, over and over, like a ball rolling towards you. Which means that if you lived at the North Pole of Uranus uh, over the space of 84 years, which is the time it takes to orbit the sun, you'd have 42 years of darkness and then 42 years of light. So that would be a very strange existence indeed. It has rings, uh, like Saturn, 13 of them, comprised of particles as small as a millimetre going up to a fraction of a metre. It has 27 natural satellites that we know about, uh, and they're all named after uh, characters from the works of Shakespeare and Alexander Pope. The five main satellites are Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, Titania and Ovo. Famous Aquarians through history. We can start with Thomas Edison with his scientific leaps and the way he brought electric light and so many other inventions into our reality. And then we've got Charles Darwin with his heretical unconventional views on evolution. Going back even further we had Galileo, the ultimate heretic who turned to the church and said, hey, the sun doesn't go around us, we go around the sun. And he was locked up for that. And then we've got people like Lewis Carroll and Jules Verne, the writer, who both saw the world in very, very different ways through science fiction. And we had Abraham Lincoln, who turned around and said, this is the change we have to make to move forward, the abolishment of slavery. And then we've got other people like Yoko Ono, Bob Marley, Angela Davis, uh, revolutionaries, social revolutionaries, bringing change to who we are and the way we perceive each other and deal with each other. This is very much the Uranian way. Change, the surprise of the new, bringing that energy to the forefront of our consciousness and saying, do you have to see yourself in this way? Maybe you're in a rut, maybe you need a little surprise, maybe you need a little kick. Chuck it away, refresh your brain, revolution. That's what Uranian energy does. And as we come into this, the beginning of the Aquarian epoch, 2,000 years of upheaval and change is what we're facing. And that's what this gong does. That's what it brings us. Change, the new, the different. It fosters creativity. You know, if we do this right and we all work together, we're going to get a utopian, bohemian society where people sharing ideas and creativity. It should be a good world, but we've got this big, big change from the old Piscean paradigm to the new Aquarian one. We've got at least 150 years of real yo-yo energy, that Uranian up and that Uranian down. Let's hope we can do it. Innovative, unpredictable, resourceful, imaginative, idiosyncratic and experimental. Uranus also rules creativity and scientific genius. Uranus's job is to break rules and demolish established patterns or structures, creating sudden, even radical change. Uranus always works in sudden ways and is called the Great Awakener. Since Uranus also holds sway over social change, it also regulates the global brotherhood of man and all humanitarian concerns, including environmental issues. 
This planet produces quick, liberating results, blending fact with intuition in its quest to discover universal truths. Uranus is considered the highest octave of intellectual mercury and is strongly objective and brainy with no emotional side. This isn't about feeling, this is purely thought. Those people with strong Uranian influences in their charts are trailblazers and forerunners in their communities. Uranus gives us a strong impulse for rebellion, independence and even shock. Exciting and liberating, Uranus will overrun anything traditional and orthodox and conventional that it deems has outlived its usefulness. And we can see this in the Arab Spring, people literally peeling their eyes open and saying, hang on, this is wrong, why are we living like this? We don't have to do this, why should we? It's that sudden liberating thought that we suddenly come up in ourselves and see ourselves in a different way and go, hang on, I don't have to eat, live, be with, associate with and do any of this. Where's the rule book that says that? That's the thinking that's coming, that is manifesting now with Uranus and this Aquarian energy. This gong says, wake up, be different. If you're stuck in a rut, if you can't think your way through or you don't know which direction you should be going in, listen to this gong, have a gong bath with Uranus and it will liberate your mind. It will cause that revolution in your own psyche. Uranus plays an important role as the provocateur, the bringer of the cosmic wake-up call for both individuals and the collective as a whole. When you play this gong, do not stick to conventional rhythms. There's no gentle build-up and then peak and then a decline. It's eclectic, it's maverick, it brings change, it brings the new and it brings surprises. That has to reflect in the way you play. Feel that push. The breaking of the old. Tearing down the walls. And there is one more trick because Uranus rules uranium, radioactivity. If you look at the Fukushima disaster, Uranus was very prevalent in the astrology of the day. And I'm going to show you a trick that you can do with the Uranus gong. Thank you. 